Hi guys, Mr. Of Waffles here. You asked for it, and so I'm delivering. This is another zombie storyline video from your boy in the space of just a couple days since I made my last one. So keep up the support, guys, and I'll keep pumping out videos like this. Today, we're going to be jumping on board uh -huh, with Ted, the bus driver from Transit, because Ted has some mysteries up his sleeve. And to be honest, I think in the next couple of days, weeks, etc., I might end up making a variety of videos about Ted because he's got quite a few secrets. I mean, he doesn't actually have sleeves, first of all. I just need to make that clear. But he's got quite a few secrets buried in his little brain box up here. And I think that it would be worth sorting through those to see what's relevant now and what's kind of been left by the wayside. Because as you'll hopefully see from this video, some of it... It's going to be pretty important. So to give you guys a 30 second rundown, if you missed my previous video about the secret room inside Mount Rushmore and why that is so impactful for the zombie story right now, there's something mysterious going on there in zombies, which has never really been confirmed before as far as I've been aware, or at least not until I made this video. And if you want the full details and all the juicy kind of thoughts about where that could go, check the link in the description down below or just wait until the very end of this video and then I'll link it on screen so you can click through and watch that full video as well and get up to speed. For now though, you might have noticed just a couple seconds ago, I hinted that there is actually another reference to Rushmore in Zombies that I had completely forgotten about, but back in the day was something that people discussed and had a couple ideas about. I actually researched this for that previous video I made, but I didn't find the reference that I was looking for, and so I assumed that my memory was playing tricks on me and that it wasn't actually there, but I was wrong. And a couple of you guys actually pointed it out in the comments section of that previous video. So, grats to you guys, really well remembered. It turns out that our boy Ted the bus driver mentions the Mount Rushmore facility in transit. Seriously, Ted basically predicted all of these story shenanigans that we've got going on right now that, in a weird sense, are kind of breathing a bit of life back into the zombies community, I feel like. With that video that I made, like, getting people a bit more hyped up for what DLC 3 is going to offer, Ted basically saw all of that coming way back on transit. So as you guys will no doubt be aware, Ted basically rattles off a load of locations where the bus does not stop in transit, but where he would presumably have otherwise been stopping had the scenery allowed him to actually travel to those locations. He talks about how he's rerouting and he's resetting his path and stuff like that because of all the stuff that's going on. He actually reacts to the fact that there's zombies everywhere and it's all overrun and stuff. So he's kind of a bit self-aware in that sense. And he's also quite tongue-in-cheek. He talks about going to Hawaii, but then he says, we're all going to drown. So clearly he's aware of the fact that you can't just drive easily to Hawaii. Anyway, one of the several places that he mentions, and if you guys want to see a video discussing all the places he mentions and all the kind of backstory there, then let me know. But one of the places he mentions is Rushmore. He says everyone off for the majestic Mount Rushmore. And bear in mind, this is an employee bus. Like, he talks about making sure that you've got all your documents before you get off the bus. Anything classified, make sure you pick it up. This is not necessarily going to be a bus that the entirety of the general public are going to be using, or at least it seems that way. The name of the bus company is Consolidated Coach Corporation, but on Ted's back, and also in the blueprint for Ted, for example, that we see on Classified, he's got this Bloodhound Bus Corporation logo, and that's probably an Easter egg reference to the fact that Greyhound buses operate in the United States, and their version of Greyhound is Bloodhound, but it's still interesting that there's a bit of a discrepancy there between Consolidated Coach Corporation and Bloodhound Bus Corporation. Anyway, clearly Ted knows about Rushmore, but it doesn't end there. If you guys remember playing Nuketown, you might remember that mysteriously on that map, you could run around and hear the transit bus honking. I want to take a quick moment to just admire the word honking. Honking. <clears throat> so, you can hear the bus, and that presumably means that Ted is nearby as well. This means that in DLC 3, when we presumably go to Nuketown, and I want to come back to this in just a second because a lot of people are confused about why it's going to be Nuketown. When we go to Nuketown, not only are we likely to see some kind of manifestation of Ted, maybe driving the OG transit bus, but we also might learn about all the other locations that Ted has been programmed to drive to. And if we consult that classified blueprint that shows Ted in his slightly more evolved form, 
we might end up finding Ted there with skin. And I know that sounds a bit weird and kind of just gross, but that's what's on the blueprint. Prosthetic skin to make Ted more approachable and more friendly. And Ted also, presumably, will have arms. Because bear in mind, this nuketown that we're going to be going to is presumably not going to just be nuketown zombies. It's going to be a working nuketown test site that is most likely before all the events from Moon that caused the world to be blown up and transit to be as transit is. It's going to be a very different experience and as such, Ted is going to be in ship shape working order probably if he does make an appearance. And I mean, the links don't stop there, okay? Also on Nuketown, you've got the bunker, right? And in the bunker, Malton can be heard on the map. And so when we look back at the original note that I mentioned, that also mentioned Rushmore, what do we see on there? The Broken Arrow logo. How is Broken Arrow related to Malton? Well, there's a bunch of links really, but one of the most prominent from recent history, which means that it's most likely to be the sort of thing that Treyarch is thinking about right now in the present day as they're going about crafting the end of the story, is that Malton gets mixed up very deeply in all sorts of stuff that happens with Russman in the original Broken Arrow test facility where they mention the Elemental Shard. Where else is the Elemental Shard mentioned? In Classified again. You see what I'm saying here, guys? There is an interconnected web of all these little story threads, and yes, many of them are story threads from the past, but the way Treyarch operates, and this is a tried and tested formula at this point, is that they pick certain story threads that they just want to give little meme references to, and then they pick other story threads that they want to basically build out into integral parts of the new story they are writing. They did the exact same thing with Revelations. In Revelations, you've got little meme Easter egg references to, for example, Smokey and the characters from Verrooked, things like that. But then you have much bigger plot points in the form of Sophia and the test subject and all of the stuff there. And that ended up basically becoming the entirety of the Revelations story. The story contained within that map, the Revelations arc, is the story of Sophia. And that's what the entire Easter egg kind of follows through. And that basically becomes integral in the ending of the loop, or rather the closing of the loop. So in a very similar way here, if we use that as a bit of a simile and say, how might Treyarch act going forward with some of these threads? Yes, there is an argument to be made that the references to Ted and things like that could just be little memes. But then when we start to realize that there's actually a much bigger web of interconnected information here, it, to me at least, becomes more apparent that this is something that Treyarch is trying to play with in a slightly more fundamental manner. And so I think that there's a much higher likelihood than there would otherwise be that Ted is going to be integral to certainly DLC 3, something that's going to be going on there, if not even DLC 4 related stuff as well. Who knows? It's also, of course, worth mentioning, and you guys need no reminder of this, but it's worth mentioning the Malton, Rossman, Samuel, and Misty the last time we saw them were in Blood of the Dead. They're actually in that map. And as much as it's been several months since the game came out right now, and it's been a while since we've really been thinking about the story, it's worth not forgetting the fact that they aren't just going to stay there. That's not going to be the end of their fate. And as much as that dimension has been closed off, we have all of that interesting dialogue between Richterfun and Stulinger, and that is absolutely going to be important going forward. The stuff to do with the lighthouse, for example, all of that, is going to have ramifications in the future. Now then, I mentioned a minute ago that we would come back to why Nuketown is even going to be the next map, right? Well, for those of you that need a refresher on this, because clearly a lot of you do, which is totally fine, there was a Nuketown map leaked last year in November, December, probably early December or late November, around then, I would say. Essentially, a QA tester got fired at Treyarch, and he just leaked a whole bunch of stuff. It was pretty nuts how much actually got leaked by that one person. I'm sure he's being sued through the nose by Activision right now. But one of the things that he mentioned was a Nuketown map in development, but it hadn't started QA yet, so it was still a while off. And now we know that DLC 3 and DLC 4 are confirmed to both be Ether maps because it is going to be the end of the Ether story. Although I want to talk about a potential offshoot for the Ether story that they could continue with in a future game in another video that'll be coming soon. It makes perfect sense that that Nuketown map 
that got talked about way back when will be DLC 3, and then because that person didn't know what the next Ether map would be, it would make sense to assume that they just hadn't quite got to whatever DLC 4 is yet, but that will still be Ether. We know 100% it's still gonna be Ether. Then on top of that, since then, there have been a bunch of random leaks and little bits and bobs from here and there, which have seemed to confirm that Nuketown is the case, so that's basically what the community is working on right now. Now, I've seen a lot of rumors going around that there is going to be transit in DLC 3 and things along those lines. My personal stance right now is that it isn't just going to be a transit remake or something like that. It's still going to be Nuketown, but I wouldn't be surprised if what people think are links and leaks to transit being in the DLC are actually things like Ted and the bus being in Nuketown because of the information that I've provided in this video. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if there are elements of transit that are brought over to Nuketown, but I don't think we're gonna just be going to transit in DLC 3. The bus is also more likely to be around than not because there was talk a long time ago, and it's been a while since then, but a long time ago with Vaughn about potentially having the transit bus integrated into Blackout somehow. And I think that would be a hilarious feature, like actually having that bus just trundling along that you could hop on or hop off, have the bus driver start honking his horn and alerting people to where you are, but getting a free ride across the map. That could be really cool. If I remember correctly, Vaughn did say at one point that it was a feature that they would consider bringing into Blackout, and he might have even gone as far as saying that at some point, it would be something that they would be doing. And so that is just more ammunition to suggest that it's a feature that is likely to be coming over because if something's in Blackout, it's a lot more likely to get marketing spend and just development time spent on it compared to something that's just for zombies because it's no secret that right now zombies is in a bit of a tough spot and it's gonna be for a little while. I mean, I'm gonna start working now, I guess, as long as you guys are enjoying the videos to try and breathe some life back into the community but it's in a rough patch and that means that it just doesn't make economic sense for a lot of dev time to be spent on zombies only things when blackout needs much more support and so if Vaughn has got his way and the transit bus is being played with for blackout it's a lot more likely that we will end up seeing it in DLC 3 in some way, shape, or form. I mean, completely being transparent about it, I, at the time, thought Transit was a terrible map. I still think Transit isn't great by any means, but I see the vision of what Transit was meant to be a little bit more clearly now, and especially with how rocky it's been for Black Ops 4 for the last couple of months, I've kind of got a little bit more respect for Transit at this point. I know a lot of people have been going back to it and like playing it for the nostalgia and stuff like that. And I actually did that with Noah, JC and Chopper a couple of weeks ago. So if you want to check that out, that will also be linked at the end of the video or in the description down below. We went through the whole Black Ops 2 Zombies Easter egg. So anyway, I know this video has been kind of all over the place, but I just wanted to sort of ramble about a variety of different things that I think all come together to make a somewhat cohesive case for not only Transit, but Ted specifically being integral to DLC 3 and also having connections to this Rushmore facility that I've just discovered or rather Cream McGee has discovered and I've made a whole video about and got really excited about. There's just a lot of cool stuff going on right now and it's nice to have a reason to be excited about zombies again. It's really, really nice. So guys, if you are liking somewhat regular story videos from me, you gotta share this video with your mates, you gotta go and watch that Rushmore video that I made. It's linked on screen right now for the next 20 seconds or so. It's in the description. Watch it all the way through and let me know what you think. That's the most important way to show your support for these sort of videos right now. So if you see some story videos from me, give them a click, give them a watch, let me know your thoughts. I've been Mr. Waffle Waffles. Thank you for watching. I'll see you hopefully very soon in more videos from Chaboy. Bye for now.